hello guys this is santosh and uh, welcome to tech design so hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial we are going to discuss on major command in nx uh, 19 and higher version so in the lower version than uh, nx 12 and all uh, you will have uh, if you go to analysis tab and uh, you will have n number of uh, major commands here measure distance measure angle and simple length and uh, there are many number of you know commands that are existing uh, but in uh, higher version you can able to see only major here so this major single command is going to make all the work for you so all the commands are you know clubbed and uh, it will be um, uh, included in this major command itself so we will see how uh, you can uh, use all the options uh, in major commands so previously in nx12 and other version so suppose if you want to measure a distance here you will go to dist measure distance and then measure the distance and if you go to uh, measure an angle then uh, you will go to measure angle and then you try to measure the angle but here in uh, everything is angle and distance and projected distance uh, surface area and everything is uh, you know uh, under this uh, measure command so we are going to discuss on that and uh, one uh, main measure advantage here is just you can just go to measure and uh, <clears throat> as soon as your uh, command opens as soon as the window window opens you don't need to select an object here so just uh, you know uh, try to um, take your mouse nearby the object you can see uh, this is the face i'm gonna, just going to you know just going to nearby this face uh, face so you can see the uh, this is a single face and then the area of the face is this and then it is given a perimeter so uh, whatever the you know properties of a particular object that you will going to select um, the particular for that object um, the window will open and it will show you don't need to select an object and uh, uh, check for the you know whatever the measurements so just hover or this uh, you know uh, circle say for example you will have a circle here so just uh, you go to you know, go nearby the circle you can see the diameter of 6.6 .6 mm and if you go to an edge here so this is my edge so if you go to edge it is a length of uh, 10.29 so uh, similarly like that if you go to circle or uh, uh, curve as you can see here this is a curve we have so if you go to single curve this is a spline and uh, the length is 560 mm so this is a quick way how we can able to measure um, the you know whatever the distance or angle that is having so <clears throat> this is the one uh, you know um, tip and one useful uh, that has uh, you know Simmons has introduced in the in this major command and now uh, we will go into the selection of objects so now we can see here the object is selected and you can see the list of uh, objects that are selected over here so since we are now selected any object so it is not showing anything and here are the results so what are the results you want see so for suppose if you want only the distance so you can switch off this curve edge and angle and surface and body face so all this if the are uh, switched off only it will measure the distance so for example uh, if you're going to select this object and uh, this object so whatever the distance is there only the distance will be shown suppose if you want an angle so you have to switch on this so it will show that this you know angle as a 90 degree so depending on your requirement you can just you know uh, switch on these uh, options and uh, switch off these options so let me keep it as it is uh, all all the switch down and uh, you can see here the distance between this curve to select one object to another object is now 14.10 uh, so this is the minimum distance that we have so for example um, if you have any uh, edge which is in an angle say for example now what I will do is I'll just keep <clears throat> first object as this second object I'll just delete this and uh, my first object is this curve now the second object I'll just going to select this curve so now this is the minimum distance that it is showing so suppose if you want to mm, see the maximum distance you can just go to here and select this maximum distance so from this point the maximum distance is whatever the distance we have here 569 so in this way you can just able to select a minimum distance and measure uh, measure the minimum and the maximum distances uh, in this command so if you click ok so whatever the distance it is there it will be shown here so if you can ju just click ok for that and in some cases what happens is whatever the distance that you have measured uh, it should be shown in whatever the work environment we have here so in order to do that you can just go to measure say for example i'm just going to measure this curve so now you can see the one 
once the measure is there uh, you can see the length and curve start point and end point and then the minimum radius of curvature so everything will be shown here uh, so if you want to keep this label as it is so what you can do is you can just go here and you can switch on these things so suppose if you want these three to be you know uh, shown on this level you can just click ok so now uh, if you hide close it and now as you can see here uh, we don't have that information over here so you just need to go here and uh, you can see this measure curve so this is recorded over here if you just do double click uh, it will show and also if you want to show that uh, every time in the window so what you can do is you can just right click here and show dimensions so once you do this uh, you can see here uh, there is an uh, you know label which is have showing the length and curve start point and end point and minimum radius of curvature is not shown because we have not selected that so now in the measure command uh, if you go here you can see the point and vector so vector how it works i will just show you see now suppose for example uh, you have an uh, you know uh, the curve here so let me draw one curve here so go to curve and draw this curve okay so there is a curve here so i just wanted to measure the uh, projected distance so projected distance is along as one direction so suppose if you want to uh, measure the projected distance from uh, this edge uh, to uh, this curve so in that case how we can do we just need to select a vector first so we can just go to vector along which vector you wanted to uh, measure so i will just give this vector so now uh, we can just go to object and then uh, we can select this face and the second set we can see this is the uh, whatever uh, the curve we have so now as you can see here this is a projected distance so projected distance is nothing but it is in a uh, single direction in one direction say if you want to change the vector you can just go here and change the direction so if it if you select this it is uh, minus 107 so if you select this it is minus 151 so if you select this uh, it is 276 so along all the three direction uh, you can able to you know measure the distance over here and then uh, we have uh, we can just click apply here and and uh, let me go here so now we have an object set so point is nothing but only to select a points so we can just ignore that and object set so object set how it works is uh, say for example you have a set of objects and uh, you want to measure between the object to object and uh, multiple objects are there and you want to check whether body what is the uh, surface area everything so in that case we can just go to object set so we'll just see how it works so object set is selected now what I will do is I will just go to solid body and now, now let me select this solid body so as soon as you select the uh, solid body as you can see here the mass is uh, 0 0.0244 and now uh, if you want to select uh, uh, between these two these uh, whatever the you know two bodies are there so now you can see the mass is doubled because the two quantities are selected so if i select this so again it is 0 0.068 so now if you select 0 0.0682 so 0 0.08 0 0.08 so similarly like that so you can see the surface area as well surface area is as well uh, increasing so now suppose you have a set of bodies here so i'll just include these two so if you want to measure the distance between these set of bodies with uh, this whatever the bodies over here so in that case you can also add one more set here so go to add a new set and now we need to select these these bodies so if you select these three bodies now you can see uh, between these bodies to these bodies uh, there is a minimum distance of uh, 277 so suppose if you want to measure the maximum distance it is 407 and the minimum distance is uh, 277 so similarly like that uh, you can measure uh, between uh, object set to object or object set to object set so similarly like that you can just uh, measure the um, you know distance and then uh, whatever the body uh, surface area or volume or whatever you are uh, required so now we'll discuss on associative uh, you know labeling so we can just go to measure command here so now what i will do is i will just uh, measure an object so between this surface to this curve so now as you can see here uh, we can see the curve and we don't want an angle so we'll just switch off this and here is the minimum distance that is uh, 75.26 and also there is an icon here so you can see here this is a create an associative measure uh, feature and saves the expression on ok so now uh, if i switch on this i will just show you what is associative and non-associative you can just uh, you know analyze how it works so associative is nothing but you can just click ok and uh, now what i will do is i'll just click ok for this as well so here you can see uh, the major command i'll just show it 
okay so now you can see this is the major command we have and which is the minimum distance between this surface and this curve so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, go do double click on this and i'll just move this curve along this direction so now if i click ok as you can see here now the minimum distance has come over here and the distance is perfectly updated so previously the minimum distance was over here and now it has come to here and this is what is a non associative measurement so whenever a model is updated say for example i'm going to update this now so i'll just move this again here and now maybe uh, this point is the minimum distance so let us see so now as you can see here this is the minimum distance now and it has been updated to over here so this this kind of you know measurement will be useful when you have um, say for example you have an exhaust system which is a very hot uh, you know pipe that is going in in the model and uh, the meanwhile uh, the whatever the components that are there in beside the uh, the pipe routing so it should have some distance in order to you know protect them so in that case if you want to measure the distance uh, along with your uh, you know whatever the model changes that you do so in that case you can just make a use of this so say for example if you want to keep a minimum distance of 150 mm so now as you can see here this is uh, 148 so now what you can do is you can just go here and you can just uh, move it up and now we can see the whatever the distance we have so previously what used to happen is it in the nx12 version and all you don't need to you know the whatever the distance that is measured will not be available so every time you need to measure those uh, you know distances between the components or uh, the curves and objects so in this case it is one advantage guys so this is all about measure command guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below and uh, i will try to answer them thank you